We're here in downtown Frankenmuth, Michigan, and we're gonna spend a couple days here experiencing the new and improved and fully redone Cass River. The fishing here in the Frankenmuth area on the Cass River has absolutely exploded since the introduction of this dam. Oh. <laughs> and not only has it exploded, but it is a family fun fishery and that's what we're here to show you today. The Frankenmuth Fish Passage Project was a wonderful collaboration um, between many different organizations, um, especially spearheaded by our local city and DDA, the Army Corps of Inter Engineers, uh, lots of great partners, both public and private. And the, the goal was really to bring historically significant spawning grounds back to life um, to the way that the Cass River was years and years ago. There's miles and miles of, of historically significant spawning ground um, above the dam and they wanted to create a natural habitat that would allow the fish from the Saginaw Bay to, to continue to go up stream for spawning and um, just only a couple years after its completion it seems to be working so we're very excited about that. The secondary benefit of the dam has been a real beautification of the area. It's very attractive for families and young people to kind of hang out and uh, a lot more use of our river walk here. Um, the outlook's just kind of a nice place to sit and enjoy uh, skipping stones or um, watching fishermen. Um, just a, a beautiful spot to really enjoy the town. We do have a couple of commercial um, boats that, that um, also use the um, river just above the dam, um, the beautiful Bavarian Bell paddle wheel boat, and then our Frankenmuth Fun Ships, which are electric Duffy boats, very quiet. Uh, they don't interrupt the fishermen very much, so um, both a, a great experience. The two boat tours are, are uh, very different and very, um, both very exciting in their own way. The Bavarian Bell offers a narrated tour, it's about 45 minutes long, and it, it will tell you a little bit of the history of our community, especially along the Cass River. Great for some scenic, um, they often see wildlife. Um, it's just a real fun, um, they can seat a lot of people, and so um, there's always room on those boats. The Frankenmuth Fun Ships, for example, um, is a different experience because they're more intimate. They have only about 12 folks that they can seat at one time. They do do wine and chocolate samplings aboard the Fun Ships as well. So unique experiences to really spend the day on the water. You can fish, you can enjoy time with your spouse later that evening, um, or take the kids along, or grandkids even along, the Bavarian Bell, and um, just many different ways that you can enjoy the Cass River. Our canoes and kayaks on the Cass River have increased significantly over the last couple of years. We have a lot more launch sites as well and we're working collaboratively with a number of our neighboring communities to build a, a Cass River water trail. Um, we have I think at the end of the summer about 10 different launches um, throughout that trail system and so I'm um, very excited about what that means for the entire system and specifically for us here in Frankenmuth, um, both our residents and our visitors can now enjoy not just standing on shore and fishing or perhaps getting in a kayak and, uh, or a canoe and going a little further downstream to see what they can catch. You know, when you come and experience this Cass River experience at Frankenmuth, what you really want to understand is whether you're a canoeist, a kayaker, or a small boat fisherman, this water and this piece of water offers you a fantastic opportunity to be all surrounded by nature and yet at the same time experiencing great fishing. Just a little bit past downtown Frankenmuth, of course the free flowing dam is behind us and uh, we're here in front of a couple of really <laughs> great landmarks. There's a couple of beautiful homes you see a pontoon on the shoreline here. When you're looking to fish rivers, one of the things you want to do and Chase I don't know if you can do this is show these clumps of rocks little stick laying down, little riprap on the shoreline. Up ahead is a cluster of weeds. When you're fishing rivers, you've got to find the critical spots. There's a bite. There's a, oh, good fish. 
What we did is slid out here just a little bit. We're still in that same spot. And the river got deep in the middle. I have no idea what I have. But, ooh, looks like an, oh, a big rock bass. Look at this, right here. Beautiful, look at, and he just hit that, that floating worm. I'll move my weed guard, get him off here. Beautiful fish. That's the type of stuff that you get when you fish a river. One of the things I love about river fishing, and especially here at the Cass, is that uh, you're gonna get a mixed bag. You're gonna get fish from nice size, that's a small rock bass, we'll get them bigger I'm sure tonight, to smallmouth bass. When you get around vegetation, you'll get largemouth bass. You know, what's native to this river? Smallmouth bass, large rock bass, bluegills, pumpkin seeds, and of course, the regular river species of catfish and sturgeon. All are very common and all are part of most people's catches other than the sturgeon. The sturgeon is still a recovering species. And the biggest thing that this project has reinstated is the native spawning ground of the walleye. You know, the Cass River is connected directly to the main river system, the Saginaw and Titabawassee that flows out of Greater Saginaw Bay. And walleye come up this river now and no longer are stopped at this dam, but are able to flow up further than this dam. And that opening is going to create in the future a real and viable walleye population for this river. Now granted, it's not a big, wide, deep river, so that population may take some time to reestablish itself, but projects like this, with the cooperation of the community and the Corps of Engineers and many partners, makes waterways like this viable again to sportsmen, outdoors, and paddle sports enthusiasts. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this is a big fish. See these cobblestone rocks? I have no idea, but oh, look at this. Big smallmouth bass jumping. Let's get him in. Beautiful here. Oh, lost my worm. <laughs> Look at this smallmouth bass. That is a beautiful, what, 16 inch smallie. Super nice fish, healthy. You were, were definitely surrounded by an agricultural land. Um, Frank was only about two and a half square miles, so a very small geographic area, and we're home to only about 5,000 residents, which might be surprising to many who visit and see the streets very full often, um, but it is a definitely a small town feel, um, even when you're one of the thousands of people walking around our town for a, a festival or um, just enjoying many of the things along Main Street. So um, it's, a, it's a quaint place to be, and I think that that comes across when you're on the river as well. Um, you can escape very quickly from feeling like you're in the, the hustle and bustle and, and fun of, of town to just really sort of escaping and, and hopefully catching a big one. <laughs> There's a bite. Oh yeah, I have no idea. It's a big one for sure. I've been just dragging these riprap's, casting them right down the middle of the river. This is a good fish, guys. This is a great fish. This is why you come to little rivers with small baits and patiently fish. You see what we got in the background? I mean, we are right downtown here. This is craziness. This fish is big. I have no idea. It's a bass. I saw him jump. As soon as I hit him, he jumped right there. Oh yeah, big smallie. Big smallmouth bass, right? See what we were talking earlier, right about the rock riprap right on shore? These smallies were close. Here he comes. There he is again. Big fish. Big fish. I'm going to try to lip him. Big fish. This fish wants nothing to do with this boat. I am in shock. Look at this fish. Look at this with my great big boat. Jumping like a mad, lost my worm. I don't want to lose the fish. I want to show you guys this fish. 
Wow. 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 <laughs> Cass River, Frankenmuth, Michigan. Rock rip wrap. I'm not even gonna bother unhooking her right now. She'll just fly all over the place. That is an 18 inch smallie right there. Gorgeous river color, super dark. I, I am telling you, you have got to try this situation. Now, it's not a big boat situation, I admit fully I'm here with my big boat today, don't come with a big boat. Look at that fish. And that right there is Frankenmuth, Michigan on steroids, on steroids. Back by the vegetation around the bend, big large mouth and a small mouth. Up here in the rocks of downtown, beautiful smallmouth bass, right in the shadow of the biggest resort in town and the covered bridge. Guys, come experience this. Frankenmuth, Michigan and the Cass River and the free flowing dam. It's gotta be on your list. If you're a kayak fisherman, this is paradise right here. Let's get this girl back in the water.